What is each part of London known for? How would you describe West London? West London is, I guess, I guess it has the reputation for being posh. I guess the property is valued at more. Big business and commerce and all of that. But then, what are we calling? We're calling this. So, like the city, like Cornhill and all that, EC1 and all that. What part of London are we calling that? Because people say it's the city, but where does the city come under? Is that North or East London? Well, I'm guessing that it's part, it's closer to East, right? But then it's also not far from, like it's, yeah, anyway. South London, I guess they, you know, the, the reputation of South, South London is rough, isn't it? East is, I guess, developing. But then also, shithole. Like, <laughs> let's just keep it real. Like, this, what East is, I guess that's the, the perception of East. And then North is sort of your football stadiums and I guess mad people mad people come from North London I remember when you when used to have these regularly used to hear this madness about people just running around stabbing people in North London like just going on a stabbing spree like what, the f what is that <laughs> East is hippie now Brick Lane is different now for sure for sure West Ham and stuff comes under East doesn't it Finsbury Park is a no-no. Wrong. Wrong. East. Oh, I knew that would get you talking, wouldn't it? East is a shithole. It's maybe less of a shithole, but it is a shithole. Let's just keep it 100. The same way everyone will agree with you if you say South London is rough. It's rough around the edges. That's true. East is a shithole. West is sort of seen as... <laughs> West is like, you know what I mean? Property prices, tile up, tile up. Mayfair and all that. Is that, that's West, isn't it? You got anything else to say about East? Because, yeah, you're not doing a good job of defending it. You can find undesirable places in all parts of London if we're keeping it at buck 50. Yeah, okay. We're not disputing that. I'm just saying, okay then. Tell us what each part of London is known for then, in your point, from your perspective. I take it you're from East. <laughs> It's just just a little bit bait. <laughs> so what they what they how would you describe each part then? Or what would you say each part is known for from your perspective? Go on, let's see what you come up with. Let's see what the remix says. Yeah. Crickets. Nothing. Fair enough. Hmm. Up north where? As in north of England? <clears throat> if we're going to that part, we may as well go Scotland at that point. Oh, here we go. South, vibrant and rough, but not anymore. So, <laughs> give us the nowadays um, perception then. Okay, East working up, oh, of course. <laughs> Should get my moderator to block you. What are you talking about? Real and trendy, but 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 um, rough, rough, vibrant and rough, yeah. All right, well you're you're um working class, real and trendy. <clears throat> North artsy and well, well healed. Depends where you go. thing I, I didn't like about North London was like there are parts of North that just look all the same literally like a maze West money yeah there you go yeah all right you you did all right except for South that South description but yeah that's all right but I, I don't see nothing wrong with that that's pretty much why I said Camden is extortionate, but I like it. To be honest, I feel like everything is becoming samey these days. No character. At the same time, it's yucky. What, Camden? Yeah, well, 
it seems like it's if there's like <laughs> there's but there's but like four four contractors and um and architects in this in this country it seems every bloody building looks the same you know what i mean everything is is a reminder of the other thing do you know what would be dope is if there was like for these new builds and stuff like if there was a color scheme depending on which part of london you're in do you know i mean like you could wake up one you could just like fall asleep on a journey wake up oh yeah oh yeah we're in south oh how'd you know boom the the they, they use um two different color bricks here and it's these colors these colors are south those colors are west those colors are north those colors i mean if they did some some stuff like that but yeah yeah not taken care of just glass like balamori <laughs> Uh, he said Camden is yucky. Camden is where you go when you want to ski the Alps, mate. Camden is a mess, but also not at the same time. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Some cool um, businesses are housed in Camden, though. Like, seems to be one of those spots. Sort of like a... Uh, what you said with like Brick Lane was becoming like the, the was Brick Lane becoming like the UK Silicon Valley? It had a reputation for that at one point. So I think those same place, those same businesses are starting to widen their net now. I want a big cleanup of London one day. <laughs> In terms of what, what the politicians are we starting there? We're starting at number ten, we're throwing them all out. What we need is reparations. That's 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 where they that's what really needs to happen. Nah, the gum. Oh, and pigeon poop. To be honest, they. Hmm. I don't know how often they do it, but I've I've seen them like steaming out the roads and or oh, is it pressure washing it? Sorry. Anyway, Wimbledon is looking clean nowadays. Boy. Like they they're doing a lot of work around here. So, I don't know if I tell you. It's not every part of London that gets these these perks. Still, that's that's the disappointing thing. The mold in bridges. I think it's well. Mm, now nah, we need to be on China's level of pressure washing now. <laughs> what? What you mean? <laughs> Then again, they remember they cut budgets for this stuff, so it's not as efficient as it could be or should be. You know what I mean? I remember at, there was a point where they were trying to debate taking the bins out. What was it every other week or I'm like, what? what? are we talking about? Like that makes no sense. What do you want? You want foxes to 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 um to to tear up and carry shit like all over the the whole city? Like what's that about? Like no. Haven't you seen those cleaning vids? They clean their streets loads. Like our tube should look nicer one. Like our tube should look nicer one day. Oh, oh! Don't get me started on like the tube and that. Like when you look, the the amount of blackness when you look on like the the platform, the thingy down there, the um, the tracks and stuff. Ugh. That's where I'm like, yo. You know, people are really fed up when they jump onto that shit because that is disgusting. I would not. I wouldn't want. I want nothing. No part of me to touch down there. Never. It's black and dirty. <laughs> I'm like, rah, like, is this place ever clean? And then when you come out from from being on the tube and you like, um, you wipe inside your nose with tissue, you see that. Nah, I was breathing in this stuff. Nah, this is this is mad. But yeah, nah, you know, like I say, you know someone is fed up with life if they're jumping onto that shit. Because, mm -mm. no, sir. Listen, I don't, I don't touch nothing. When I'm going out underground, my hands are safely docked into my pockets. I mean, I don't touch nothing. <laughs> See all them, like, the pole and things and me? I don't want to touch none of that. If I'm not wearing gloves, the most you can get is maybe one finger. Or if, if it's like really peak and I can't balance, I hold it with two. And when I'm telling you, like, I'm, I'm using the minimum amount of, <laughs> yeah, I don't like touching nothing to do with none of that. Mm -mm, don't like it. It's rank for real. <laughs> Miss East, where you gone? Where's the mayor of East? 
So West London, everyone is um is agreed is the richest the richest part of London, yeah. When bra when people eat on a tube, the bravery you're just eating yeah I mean you're eating um <laughs> dust particles and stuff and stuff. Nah, sir. I don't have I ever eaten on a tube. I don't think so, you know. Charcoal burger. Maybe like a maybe a snack bar. Something where it's like you know what I mean? It's close to the packaging, you bite it, and then you when you're ready you push up the next bit, you bite. But yeah, never anything more than that. Charcoal burger. <laughs> uh man. <laughs> 